when I set up my pineapple, it sits in the middle. So, when your laptop asks, are you my preferred open Wi-Fi, it responds, why yes, I am. Subsequently, all the user's traffic ends up having to go through my pineapple. There's also a very good reason why you should turn off your Wi-Fi altogether when not connected to a trusted place. Leaving your Wi-Fi on can lead to bad things, dark things, sinister things. Now, even though you've never connected to an open Wi-Fi, one thing that does happen is your phone, your laptop, your computer, whatever you use, remembers each and every Wi-Fi it's ever connected to. Now, that's pretty convenient because it means that if you've connected to your home Wi-Fi and then your office Wi-Fi, whenever you're in range, it'll automatically connect without you having to go through all that password and uh, identification thingy malarkey. There is a slight problem with this approach. You see, say you've connected to three networks previously, one called Adrian, one called Wilson, and one called Khan. Let's say I connected to them on my iPhone. The problem is, when I'm not in range, the phone will be screaming out. Adrian Wilson, come So you capture this information. You know what connections my phone is trying to make or my laptop's trying to make, but so what? This is where a particular mindset comes into play as to like, well, what can I do with this information? So I went to see two such people who have this particular mindset. Daniel and Glenn over at SensePost. They've developed a piece of software called Snoopy. It's composed of two parts, uh, a central server that does all the number crunching and the brain off the operations, and a number of drones that go out there into the field. The drones then collect the information and send it up to the central master server brain for processing. You can view the schematic here and architecture to understand how it all works. They kindly lent me a Nokia N900 with Snoopy already loaded on as a drone, so I went out and thought I'd capture some traffic. Okay, so let's take a look at one device that I've intercepted. It's an iPhone, not surprising because iPhones were of the, the largest quantity, and it's looking to connect to all of these Wi-Fi networks. McDonald's free Wi-Fi, Starbucks free Wi-Fi, Travelodge and Virgin Home 123456. Now looking at these, we can probably infer this prop person isn't really a high roller. He connects to cheap, free places. And then there's Virgin Home 123456, which is most likely that person's home address. Armed with this information, we can go to a site like Wiggle to find out the location of this person. You can even pull up a street view picture from Google of their home. In case you're not familiar, Wiggle is one of those websites that collects a whole bunch of uh, Wi-Fi addresses and tells you where it is in the map. It's populated using wall driving. We understand that we've got a big collection of data. We know we've got this Wiggle wall driven database and we can use a piece of kit like Mortigo to pull all this data in and start drawing out some conclusions from it. As Glenn from SensePost will explain, so over here I'm looking at the intersection of data, so here's Black Hat EU uh, 2013 and there's everybody visited that conference and over here we have uh, B-Sides London 2013 mm -hmm. and in the middle very easily we see the intersection. So right. these four devices, pinch these four people, were at both conferences. Yeah, yeah. Which is pretty cool, because now if I start looking at their other SSIDs, I can find out where they probably individually live, what kind of relationships they have, whether any of them have visited each other at their own homes, or anything like that. And, and it's really quite interesting. Alternatively, if I want to target them collectively, I can go to the next security conference, which I assume they'll be at, and I can set up a little honeypot specifically for them with their office ID spoofing that, let them all connect to that automatically, and booyah! 
In essence, it's pretty simple. Leaving your Wi-Fi on can lead to some pretty interesting stuff happening. And hackers and people of that mindset love this kind of stuff because it opens up a whole world of opportunities. I mean, if maybe you think you're being followed, you can set up a perimeter looking out for any phones that might be connected to MI5's Wi-Fi. So as soon as they enter that perimeter, you get an alert sent through to them. Or maybe you can deploy drones out into the field and then like do a flyby and just suck up all the data that they've picked up. I mean, you know, who knows where you could go with this. Well, that's the fun part about it all. However, the real depressing truth is that because of the way Wi-Fi is implemented in your phone, your laptop, your iPads, tablets, whatever you want to use, there isn't really a way you can defend against it. I suppose for now, the best thing you can do is turn off your Wi-Fi. Stay safe, my friends.